Hey, beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. I'm once again joined by Daniel the Endo Symbiosis, fellow beer tuber, beer geek nation guy. And uh, we're going to do another import. That's kind of what we've been planning on doing. We're doing imports. So uh, we're going to be looking at Polliner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the Salvatore. I don't know. How would you pronounce that? Polliner Salvatore? Yeah, that's what I'd say. Yeah, more or less. Okay. <laughs> So this is a big 7.9% German-style Doppelbach, and Polliner is in uh, Munich, so that's a uh, big German brewery capital. So I uh, haven't done a Doppelbach on the show yet, so uh, looking forward to this one. Me too. Kind of looking forward to it. I've been in a Doppelbach mood. You know, it's kind of a good springtime beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm using my uh, Einger Celebrator glass um just because it is another doppel box so you know so i figured it'd be a nice glass to use for uh, for this one yeah i'm getting uh wow that's nice pour on that got about i'm just using my regular kind of wheat slash water lager glass about oh, all yeah I got. that should be fine getting like three fingers nice uh kind of off white head there yeah, mine's kind of a yellowish head, and uh, I will say, I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but the beer goes right up to the 0 .3 liter line on my uh, nice. German glass. Yeah, get a nice, uh, pretty clear, lighting's not too great here, kind of reddish, kind of orangish yeah. reddish color. Orange red, um, more orange than I would have anticipated. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cloudy too, It doesn't. It's not. it's not super clear on my end. Um, lots yeah, of I got a little bit of a chill haze on there. Not completely yeah. transparent. Yeah, but, lots uh, of uh, carbonation coming from the bottom of the glass. Yeah, quite a bit of carbonation, actually. Yeah. Usually you think a doppel box being kind of flat, but not this one. Yeah, this one might stick around a bit, so uh, let's get the nose on it. Oh, yeah. It smells it smells nice. Very malty. <laughs> yeah, malt, bready. Bready. Just um, caramel, big time. Big time caramel, big time, just big time malt in I, general. I get a little like honey on the nose as well. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. It's but, very um, sweet. Um, yes. Definitely caramel. Yeah, and you know, no, not overly complex because it's the lager yeast they're using, so you're not getting those big fruity esters. Just right, right. Letting that malt character just shine through. Yeah, it just shines right in. I don't know. You ready to taste? Oh. Yeah, let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, big malt, lots of sweetness. I mean, Doppelbach's yeah. among the maltiest beers you can get. Um, I've been doing a lot of IPAs lately, so this is almost just like a palate cleanser from all those IPAs I've been I've been drinking um, to do Doppelbox. It's it's just they're, they're beautiful beers, and this one is just a classic. I think. Yeah, so far it's it's not too sweet on the palate. It's kind of something I always have to worry about. Yeah. Once you go from IPAs to Doppelbox, it just might seem a little too sweet. So far, my palate, not so much. It's got fairly dry finish, maybe a little bit um, of sweetness lingering. We'll see how that kind of goes. But. Right. There's a little bit of astringency, I think, due to the alcohol. Um, yeah, maybe that's in the back end. You get a little bit of alcohol, kind of helps clean up some of the uh, the malt sweetness. It's got some of that sticky toffee kind of quality on the back of the tug. Yeah, up front I get a little bit of the alcohol taste. But then it's, yeah, I mean toffee is bready toffiness. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of, just, just very, almost cloying. It's just a little bit, like, I don't know, some raisins, some, you know, but it, it's got a little bit of that sweetness. It does linger a little bit in my bottle. Yeah, good, good call on the raisin. That's definitely some some, some raisin uh, caramel. Like, if you could somehow caramelize raisins or, you right. know, it's kind of what it tastes like. Almost like a figgy pudding kind of thing, you know, with the bready kind of quality. And then, you know, the like, it's almost got that texture. Yeah, but maybe it's the lager yeast being so clean, it's... um. It's only like a medium body beer. It's not 
two. Thick. No, no, no. It's not super heavy. It's um, very drinkable. I mean, I can I can do two or three of these at a time. You know, no problem. That's that's the scary thing. Like right now, um, while it's on the cooler side, is it's just for a pretty much an eight percent beer. It's uh, it's very thirst quenching. You know, it is. Uh, you could definitely see yourself sitting outside on a spring day. Um, yeah. Weather's starting to warm up. Just kind of pounding these back. Which or is like scary. early fall, kind of. I could see that as well. You yeah. Know, before it gets super cold, but, you know. No, that's yeah. really good. All right, so Daniel, I've been sipping on Salvatore a bit more. Um, Rating-wise, I'm going to go with the B on this one. Um, I think there's some more complex Doppelbox out there, at least on the flavor. This one's just, it's really nice. And thankfully, it's not too sweet on the back end it finishes on the drier side for a lot of doppel box um but i think the alcohol is at a good level i mean for eight percent you taste it but it does help to cleanse the palate um just the malt character it, it's not just quite have the complexity of some of the other doppel box i've had yeah for me i mean i like it a little bit more than you do i'm gonna go b plus um just because it's so damn drinkable i feel like it it kind of deserves to be in that yeah. range um, I agree. I mean, it's not the best Doppelbock I've ever had, but um, the price is right on this one, and it's uh, it's just a, a really solid beer. And it's a little bit more complex than I kind of gave it credit for when I sat down to do this review, because uh, when I when I just drink it by myself, I'm always just like, well, you know, it's just this kind of sweet, malty, delicious right. thing. But uh, then when you sit down and really look at it, I mean, there is a lot more going on than just like, oh, well, it's just sweet and bready, you know. So, right. uh, you know, quite a, quite a good beer, actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this. And, um, you know, I think we're both now looking forward to doing the Iyengar, the Celebrator. But, uh, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up today for the Polliner Salvatore. Um, Daniel likes it a little bit more than me, but um, it, it's a solid Doppelbock. Definitely check it out if you like your Doppelbocks. Not too cloyingly sweet like some of the other ones out there. Um, but, yeah, it's, it is a really drinkable beer for nearly 8% ABV. So uh, definitely recommend it if you're looking for uh, a good uh, German beer for a pretty decent price. So uh, thanks to Daniel and Symbiosis for joining me today. Thanks for having and me. Definitely, man. And we'll do another import soon. And uh, please comment, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers. Cheers.